Okay, uh, folks, uh, everybody, uh, welcome here to uh, what is going to be a record-breaking event. Uh, how many people, uh, how about this, how many people are Dutch? Nederlanders, laat je horen. Yes? Okay. Okay, now that is the loudest that Dutch people have been for a very long time. That's good, that's good. Uh, how about this, not Dutch people? How many not Dutch people do we have here tonight? Yeah! <laughs> uh, but, uh, okay, thank it's you also, for being but here. But it's also about technology tonight. Of course. Um, so we should check, how many people here make some noise if you work with technology? That's the sound of brain power. That's yeah. the sound. How many VIPs we've got here tonight as well? VIPs. VIPs up there. Yay, Weird of Fips. Weird of Fips. It's nice to literally be looking down on all of the people. <laughs> but the toilets are still on the same level. Yeah. You have to use the same toilets as we do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start the quiz. Please make some noise and give a very warm welcome to Yulinka von Kevin, the quiz master. Oh! Super smart. Thank you, gentlemen. Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Quiz Night XL, the official final event of the Dutch Technology Week. Very pleased that you could all make it out. We haven't been able to count you yet, but it looks like we have a pretty full house because we're getting to the real stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to quiz? That's good. What was Herod's department store the first to introduce back in 1898 in England? Is that one, the conveyor belt? Two, the electrical cash register? Three, the elevator? Or is it four, the escalator? What introduceerde het warenhuis Herod's in 1898 for the first in England? Lopende band, elektrische kassa, lift of the roltrap. Enter in your answer now, ladies and gentlemen. Time is almost up. Technologic. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're still feeling optimistic. We'll soon find out how you did, because uh, I'd like you to welcome back on stage Greg and Michael to give you the answers for round one. We're going to find out right now. Yes, yes. Thank All right, you. let's do it, huh? Thank you, Yulinka. Spoiler alert, here they come. <laughs> question number one. Uh, the answer for question number one was number four, the escalator. Yeah. The roll to rup. How does that sound? You like that? All right, check this out. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for some more questions? Good. You will see 10 photographs of famous persons along with their name. Each person has been assigned a number from 1 to 10. For each question, you will hear a quote attributed to one of these people. I have noticed even people who claim everything is predestined and then we could do nothing to change it look before they cross the road. Okay, ladies and gents, that officially concludes round number seven, and with that, our quiz. That's it, no more questions. You did it. Now we're gonna be back soon with the winners of all those wonderful prizes. Our first prize, of course, sponsored by Philips. But at this point in time, I would very much like to thank our wonderful panel of expert judges, Mr. Matthew Steinbuch, Mr. Joost Helms, Mr. Benshausen, 
and Miss Machtel de Kroon. Please give them a big round of applause. We really appreciate it. They could make it out here to uh, oversee things for us. The time has come, ladies the time, and gentlemen. I do believe the Are time has come. Are you ready to hear the results of tonight's play? Now, the number one team tonight for the first ever Quiz Night XL is, with 563 points, it is handset number 617, Spongebob Group! Come up on stage. Well done, applause everybody, 563 points. Not bad, SpongeBob. A winning team, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all of you as well for being brave enough to join us in this tricky quiz. I hope you all had a wonderful time. We would really like to do it again next year. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, the Dutch Technology Week, our amazing hosts, our amazing judges, and our amazing question makers. I'd like to thank my colleague Edwin for all the ridiculously hard work he put in, and all of our volunteers. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and we hope to see you all next year.